Hey guys, Mike from Fortinet Guru here. Um, I wanted to touch on something really quick. I uh, thought about it after I made the FortiSwitch firmware update video. But a lot of people don't know this. By default, the FortiSwitch comes with a set IP. It's like 192.168.1.99, I believe. Um, and if you know if you're old school or if you just really really hate GUIs for whatever reason um, or if you're having to deploy a whole lot of these things really quick and you want to be able to just console into it real quick and make the necessary IP change so it's manageable and then get it deployed this is how you would go about doing that so first things first you want your obviously you want your serial console um, COM3 is the one that I'm using to connect now the speed that you have to use whenever you're connecting to a Forta switch, at least with the 124D and various other models in that range, is 115-200. And that'll let you connect to the actual Forta switch. And then you come in here. This is me connected to the switch. I am already logged in. So one of the things that you want to do is say config system interface. And then you can do it again. You can see the actual, the 124D has all 24 ports bonded together as an internal um, network. So as you can see, the default IP is 192.168.1.99. This is awesome if you are a small office, home office, or if your network for some reason somehow manages to fall on that subnet. And obviously, as long as .99 isn't used on said subnet, your device can hit the ground running. You can manage it from your network just by plugging it in. Good to go. Voila. So your network's not that simple. You're already deployed and you already want to you want to make it manageable from another subnet or another IP. So you go to config system interface. Okay, you do a get. There's your internal network. It's on that default network. So you want to edit internal. And then you can do a get here and you can see, okay, IP 192.168.1.99. Let's fix this. So you hit Q just to get into the regular internal string. Set IP. And for my network, you know, my home network is 10.100.100. And an IP that I know is not in use on my network is .199. And then, of course, you hit spacebar and you type in your subnet mask and hit enter. And then go to next. You won't actually finish until you exit out of the interface that you're editing. So next we'll do that. And then I'll do in to go back to it. And then we can do a get system interface. Okay, 10.100.100.99. Groovy. And then we go to our um, network here, 10.100.100.99. Voila. I can hit my switch. So I can just, you know, run through these commands real quick. Be good to go. And, uh... Boom, you know, you're, you're pretty much set. Everything you need to do. So uh, hopefully this helps some guys that are looking to get things done really quick. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to comment on the video. And I look forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks.